initially in the morning, the police were there to make one or two checks. And uh, the checks revealed that, yes, this lady in question has uh, ever visited the hospital once and uh, probably twice or so, or three times, according to the records. But uh, we were not able to disclose the detailed uh, uh, information concerning the purpose of which he came there and the condition for which reason he was seen by a doctor. So we are not allowed to do so. So from there, we could not give that, that disclose that information to the police and, uh, because uh, our ethics, you know, do not allow us to do so. And uh, just this afternoon, we see further directives from our superior that uh, we should be very circumspective with the comments because uh, they have become a national issue. And as a matter of fact, uh, we need to approach it without uh, respect. When that happened like that, then based on the pieces of information, one gathers from here and there, you put things together and can the person can make their own induction or deduction. Uh, but the fact is that this lady has been in the hospital. Uh, for the first time, we came there to around the somewhere last year, as a record, somewhere last year, September. And from there, I think records indicate that for two or three occasions, uh, she has been at the hospital. But like the photos are still in our custody, we have the all other details are still available in our custody. And until we receive a directive from our superiors, it might be difficult for us to even to release that one. You... When there's a patient confidentiality, we cannot breach that uh, contract. I think that we should allow the the, the process to, 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 to follow naturally. It will come out. If it's faking, it will show. If it's not faking, it will show. So that uh, once fortunately that person in question has been identified to be the person that uh, I think I've at the moment, I think whatever follows will come out naturally.